This paper targets high-fidelity and real-time view synthesis of dynamic 3D scenes at 4K resolution. Given a multi-view video capturing a dynamic 3D scene, our goal is to reconstruct the target scene and perform novel view synthesis in real time. Recent methods on dynamic view synthesis have shown impressive rendering quality. However, their speed is still limited when rendering high-resolution images. Our goal is to perform real-time view synthesis of dynamic 3D scenes at 4K resolution. Some dynamic view synthesis methods increase the rendering speed by decreasing either the network size or the number of network evaluations. With these strategies, such methods achieve over 40 FPS when rendering moderate resolution images, 384 by 512, but are still not fast enough to achieve real-time performance when rendering high-resolution images. For example, K-Planes replaces the MLP of NERF with six explicit planes for faster network evaluation. However, their rendering speed is still limited by the heavy sampling cost of volume rendering with the raymarching algorithm. ENORF reduces the number of samples required using cost volume based MVS for depth prediction and depth guided sampling. However, their heavy image based rendering and 3D convolution networks prohibit its real time rendering at higher resolution. We build 4K 4D on the intuition that the rendering speed is determined by two main factors sampling cost, count, and network evaluation cost. To reduce sampling cost, we adopt a 4D point cloud representation for hardware accelerated rasterization, which eliminates the sampling cost. We also build our hybrid geometry and appearance model to support pre-computation, which eliminates the network evaluation cost, thus greatly increasing the rendering speed for dynamic view synthesis, achieving real-time performance at 4K resolution. The overview of the proposed model is presented in the figure. In the following slides, we first describe how to represent the geometry and appearance of dynamic scenes based on point clouds and neural networks. Then, we develop a differentiable depth peeling algorithm for rendering our representation, which is supported by the hardware rasterizer, thereby significantly improving the rendering speed. Finally, we discuss how to optimize the proposed model on input RGB videos. Given the coarse point clouds of the target scene, we represent its dynamic geometry and appearance using neural networks and feature grids. To assign a feature vector to any point at a frame, we adopt the strategy of k-planes to model a 4D feature field using these six planes. Based on coarse point clouds, the dynamic scene geometry is represented by learning three entries on each point, position, radius, and density. Using these point entries, we calculate the volume density of space point with respect to an image pixel for volume rendering. We use the image blending technique and the spherical harmonics SH, model to build a hybrid appearance model, where the image blending technique represents the discrete view-dependent appearance and the SH model represents the continuous view-dependent appearance. For a point, we first project it into the input image to retrieve the corresponding RGB color. Then, to blend input RGB colors, we calculate the corresponding blending weight based on the point coordinate and the input image. Note that the blending weight is independent from the viewing direction. Next, to achieve the view-dependent effect, we select the n nearest input views according to the viewing direction and compute the IBR color as their weighted average. Because the n input views are obtained through the nearest neighbor retrieval, the IBR color is inevitably discrete along the viewing direction and supports pre-computation to greatly increase rendering speed. To achieve the continuous view-dependent effect, we append the fine-level color represented by the SH model. The volume rendering equation requires the color and transparency values to be integrated in order, thus we utilize the depth peeling algorithm for acquiring the corresponding ordered points for pixels. Thanks to the point cloud representation, we can leverage the hardware rasterizer to significantly speed up the depth peeling and blending process. Moreover, it is easy to make this rendering process differentiable, enabling us to learn our model from input RGB videos. Given the rendered pixel color, we compare it with the ground truth pixel color to optimize our model in an end-to-end -end fashion using these loss functions. 
Using the Atom Optimizer with a learning rate 5e-3, our models typically converge after 800k iterations for a sequence length of 200 frames, which takes around 24 hours on a single RTX 4090 GPU. After training, we apply a few acceleration techniques to boost the rendering speed of our model. First, we pre-compute the point location, radius, density, SH coefficients, and color blending weights before inference, which are stored at the main memory. During rendering, these properties are asynchronously streamed onto the graphics card, overlapping rasterization with memory copy to achieve an optimal rendering speed. Second, we convert the model from 32-bit floats to 16 bits for efficient memory access, which increases FPS by 20 and leads to no visible performance loss. We leverage existing multi-view reconstruction methods to initialize the point clouds. For dynamic regions, we use segmentation methods to obtain their masks and input images and utilize the space carving algorithm to extract their coarse geometry. For static background regions, we leverage foreground masks to compute the mask-weighted average of background pixels along all frames, producing background images without the foreground content. Then, an instant NGP model is trained on these images, from which we obtain the initial point clouds. Here we show the real-time rendering results of our method on the mobile In the following, we show real-time rendering demo on the previously mentioned datasets. Note that our method can maintain real-time rendering performance even when the rendering resolution is high and the dynamic scene is complex and fast-changing.
Here we show qualitative comparisons on the rendered video and depth maps with ENRF and K-planes. Our method consistently produces much better rendering quality and much cleaner geometry at 30 times the rendering speed. Thanks for watching.